you I guess just a, a question for both of you to start uh, how pleased are you now that you're here and how difficult was the last week or so uh, I'm super happy to be back uh, I mean it's uh, been a long negotiation but I'm happy we're gonna good terms and I'm uh, finally I'm back and I'm really excited to be back yeah like Petey said uh, not easy being at home the last week but um, I'm glad we're here now and we can put that behind us so excited to be here Tell us a bit about the, the skates and the workouts you were doing in Michigan as you waited for the deals to get done. It's been good. been uh, skating with uh, Quinn's dad. Um, it doesn't go easy on us, so it's been it's been tough skates. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, I had Petey and Brady come down, and, uh, you know, it was nice to have them there. And, um, you know, obviously it wasn't, uh, you know, like camp, but it was as good as it can get, and we went pretty hard, so... Um, my dad runs a tough skate, but, you know, we belong here now, and um, so we were happy to, you know, get back here. What do you guys have to focus on, do you think, Elias, over the next week or so to make sure you're ready to go when the puck drops for the regular season? Um, no, it's just um, do everything you can day day and day. Um, and I'm not sure when my first game going to be, but um, I'm taking it day by day, uh, make sure I'll be as ready as possible when uh, the season starts. Elias? Would you have committed long term if the dollars were right, or does three years give you a window to sort of assess where this organization is as far as uh, its competitive cycle? Uh, um, um, I want to be here. Um, at the moment, the three, three year three year deal was the best for on, on both sides, um, and I'm glad we got uh, made that happen. Elias, when you look at I mean, his three-year extension, he, he gets the, there's the financial part of it, then there's also some flexibility. Do you take some comfort in that, that you have a teammate who, who did the same sort of extension you did? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've been talking to him about contract and stuff, so uh, what's, I don't know, it's contract right away. Um, I don't really have a good answer. How much do you, do you think you need? How many games do you think you need to get ready for the preseason, Elias? One, two. One, two. I mean, I'm I'm in good shape. I'm uh, just uh, ready to get back with the team and be around the team again. When you talked a lot before uh, the off season about not working as maybe as much on skill work but defensive side, how can you improve that in the off season? Is this much like you just said, skating with guys who might test you in a defensive capacity? maybe working out with your brothers in, in that regard in the summer? What did you do? Yeah, just focusing a little bit more on uh, that stuff, like um, backward skating and uh, maybe in drills. You know, if we're doing three on three, not worried about, you know, playing offense, just, you know, trying to play defense. And um, and then on top of that, I think it's a mindset too. So I've had a couple months here to prepare. And um, so we'll see. I'm excited to get going. It's a fresh start, and hopefully um, we can have a good season. Resolving the Hamannick situation to help you in terms of a fit with that second pair and being able to hit the ice and kind of knowing what you're dealing with there? Yeah, I mean, I thought me and Hammer were really clicking towards the end, and um, I like him off the ice too, so that always helps, and we had a good thing going. Um, I'm not, I haven't talked to him in probably a month, so I'm not really sure uh, what his situation is, and I don't want to comment on that, but, um, you know, all I know is I had my own thing going on, and I'm here now, and that's all I can focus on, and... Um, you know, whoever they put me with, I'll play with. Where are your expectations for what the team can accomplish this year, Quinn? Uh, I think that this is probably the best roster we've had in my three years here. So that was another thing of, you know, I definitely didn't want to be at home too long because I think that we have a really good team here and I wanted to be here and so that, you know, me and Petey could get, um, you know, here and get our feet wet and, um, you know, we can go off have a good start to the season. And um, I think Jim did a really good job, uh, you know, this summer. And, um, you know, I want to thank him for the contract as well and the Aquilini family. So um, I think we're both, you know, happy we're here. And like I said, it's a, it's a really good uh, roster. So we'll just have to see how it goes.
can you can you each take us through what it, what the last few weeks have been like like what have you been doing day to day um what have you been doing with your off time we've obviously seen some photos from football games but what what's what was life like for you guys in michigan uh it's been just training uh focusing doing what we can do uh, it's been our agents that have been handl handling and negotiating our contracts uh they update such uh what happens etc cetera, etc cetera. but uh all we've been doing is uh, working out, skating, and uh, yeah, been hanging around in Michigan. Yeah, it's, I mean, we're pretty normal guys, so uh, we've been surfing a little bit and working out and skating, and um, yeah, I, know, I don't know, we just, you know, hang out, watch TV. It was fun that, you know, Brady was there as well, and um, these two got to get along uh, for first. And um, yeah, it was good, you know, stressful. Because, uh, you know, you're seeing stuff online and you want to be there. Um, but it, it was what it was, and we're here now, so. Were you talking to guys who were here at camp, and what were those conversations like? Uh, I pers I mean, you know, I talked to Bowen, Millsy, and probably Brock a bit, but I tried to give them their space, and I'm sure they gave, you know, tried to give us our space, and um, I gave them the heads up when it was close, and I, Petey did the same, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it was pretty respectful on both sides. Do you guys have to do the bag skate when you show up? Does Travis make you guys do the bag skate? Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, we'll do whatever we're told to do. Uh, it's, if they tell us to do, we'll do it. So. From your hey, football career perspective, OEL, Carlin, Dickinson, I mean, you know, Pat Golson, they've added some really nice pieces here. How excited are you about some more offensive potential? And even having, it looks like you guys might have balanced power play units too. How, how excited are you by that? I'm really excited. I mean, our team's looking really well. Um, just um, all those guys uh, have good, uh, are good players and will bring a lot to the team. So I'm really excited to um, just get started and uh, start the new season. Hey, you want to, you know, you're a hockey player. You've been through the experience of playing in loud buildings in the NHL. What was the college football experience like for you? It was uh, it's, it's, it was actually my first ever football game I've been to, so it was uh, better than I expected. Uh, it was louder than I expected, so it was. Um, I'm a big big football fan. Uh, I remember me and my dad always was watching ga games when growing up back home in Sweden. So um, yeah, I had a great time. In light of that, how excited are you to get back playing in front of full buildings around the league as well? I uh, can't wait. I mean. Uh, Last year, uh, yeah, I forget last year, but uh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just excited to, to play in front of people. Like I didn't realize how much the fans make a difference until last year. So I'm really excited to have fans back in the stadium. Really, is, uh, it seemed like it was past Thursday where, you know, things started to kind of turn for the better for the contract negotiations. Uh, what changed uh, on that front from your perspective around that time and how much of it was driven by you wanting to be at camp and, and just being able to see guys and get some preseason action? I uh, just, um, just want to get back to the team. I mean, both me and Quinn felt like it felt wrong not like being in Michigan when the team were having the training camp they were in preseason. So we just wanted to get the deal sorted uh, as fast as possible. and. Uh, yeah, maybe it took longer than expected, but uh, both of us are really happy with, it, with our deals and uh, just can't wait to get started. Quinn, what do you think about the additions to the defense with Luke Shen, Pullman, OEL? How, how different does it feel as a defense group this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely, you know, a lot of new faces. And, um, you know, I know Shenner from a while back, my first couple games, and I thought, you know, he, he's a great addition for sure. And, um, OEL, he's a great player too. I haven't met, had the chance to meet him yet, but um, yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get Hammer back, like we said at some point. But um, you know, like I said earlier, I think Jim made some great moves uh, this off season, and um, that's a big part why me and Petey wanted to get back and didn't want to miss any time because we want to, you know, uh, get ready like at start of season so we can you know, have a good start. And Elias, for you, you missed the last 30 games last year. Everything's feeling 100%. You're all ready to rock this season? Uh, yeah, written? I'm um, I'm ready to go. Uh, Wrist feels fine. Um, I'm 
more hungry than I was before my injury. So um, I'm very much ready to get the season, season started. And did it affect your training in the off season at all? Like, was it a little tough at the start? No, kind not of... not in the off season. Like when I was went home to Sweden, my wrist was fine to do full workouts. Uh, so nothing held me back. So. One of the changes is Brad Shaw coming in. Uh, your teammates have talked a lot about video work and not so much wholesale systems changes, but different points of emphasis. Like, do you guys have a feel yet for what that's going to be like? And what do you think the process is to get up to speed personally on those changes? Um, I think we have a meeting with them right after this. <laughs> so, um, so, but we, like before, like this morning we had a, a meeting about uh, like our tactics, how we want to play, et cetera. So, <clears throat> but yeah, like you said, we, there's some new phases in, in the team and uh, we just got to work with each other and uh, make the most of it. play going into the year and how important it is for you guys to get some work in here over the next week to try and start on a positive note after how much it struggled last season. Yeah, like you said, um, we weren't happy with the way it went last year. Um, we know that we got to set high standards. Uh, all of us want to win, so um, just get that going right away and hopefully start on a good note. Thanks, everyone.